Uh, okay. Okay, so... Uh-huh. So the, uh, the participants, you know, this, uh, oh, the, the group is uh, Sterling, Ugayon, Kaganda, Luzon, and Mena. That's all? Okay. Yes, sir. Dalit, Tipi. Okay. So, Dali, I have to take picture on it, okay? Para sa ganun, eh, uh, makita ko na. Yung, uh, mm, mm. Oh, man. Okay, so sandali lang ha, sandali ng kaunti. Okay. Hmm. Okay, ito na, ito na, ito na, ito na, ito na. Ay, nako. Okay. Yeah, okay, go. Tonight, huh? Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay so, yeah, so, so, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we will be uh, hearing, you know, from the first group, you know, all about the uh, report. And uh, you have to listen, you know, from your, from the group, you know, that, the, uh, that is reporting uh, later because there are probably things that I will take, you know, for your examination, for your final examination. So, you have to listen to them. Okay? Go ahead now, Sean. Okay, sir. Um, ayan. So, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Sam Balo -Balo. Um, this is the report of Group 1, and this is entitled as Relevance of the Course Entrepreneurship. Next slide, please. Ayan, so for the disclaimer, the author does not claim ownership of the documents, images, audio, or any material in the shown in this presentation. Next. So these are the objectives of the PowerPoint and the discussion for today. Um, define entrepreneurship, entrepreneur, and enterprise. Number okay, two, distingu dis distinguish entrepreneur from a businessman. Number three, identify mm -hmm. misconception on entrepreneurship. Number four, explain the compounded benefits of entrepreneurship to the Filipino people, local community, and to the Philippine economy. Number five, determine the relevance of entrepreneurship to first year students. Next. So first, let's define entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, it, it, if it, it is a philosophy or process through which an entrepreneur seeks innovation and employment. So dito, nakikita natin yung entrepreneurship, nagpa-plano siya at gumagawa siya ng unique na product or services. And please note that the key word in entrepreneurship is the risk. An adventure where risk is mitigated due to any reason does not qualify to be called entrepreneurship. So, di ba, meron tayong mga businessman and entrepreneurship na nag risk talaga. And yung, res yung result nito ay pwedeng maging positive or negative. Okay. Next slide, please. Okay, stop, Sean. Okay, po. Okay. Can you turn on your camera and the rest of your group so that I can see you? Yung mga kasama mo? Nandiyan ba sila? Okay. I want to see your... Okay. Yeah, sige, sige. Okay. okay. Where is... Where is Juwan? Wala ba si Juwan? Isa. Okay. Ikwan mo nga iha. Iturnan mo nga yung camera mo na para sa ganun eh uh, makita kita. Ano yan? Ano sila? Okay, sige. Okay, ako na nga. Okay. Ayo, oh, yan na, yan na. Yan na si Mr. Mular. Okay. Hi, Sam. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Sean. Continue. Okay. Okay na. So, next slide, please. Mangwa. Mangwa naman ito. Mr. Mular, can you turn off your audio? Go, Sean. Next slide, please, um, Jude. Um, what is the entrepreneurs? Entrepreneurs are people who create new business activity in the economy and very considerable business risk in the process. This is often done by starting new companies, 
that they can also create new business activity by introducing a new product or creating a new market. So in here, entrepreneurs are kindly a business-minded people, and it's not just about um yes, they build new business and they having a reasonable work, but it's a lot of pressure and you know stress that can happen but once they also risk then they can do the business part. So the next slide part. Okay, so Charles Mena is not here, so let's compare businessman and entrepreneur. So what businessman happened? Hello Sean, what happened to Mr. Mena? I don't know sir. He doesn't mm -hmm. respond to my chat. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so let's Okay. So businessman and entrepreneur. Uh -huh. A businessman person who sets up an, an existing idea. And while entrepreneur is an entrepreneur is a person who starts with new idea. So dito sa entrepreneur, masasabi natin may innovation talaga. Businessman can be a reseller, right? And businessman creates place in existing market. But entrepreneur creates new market. And businessman is less risk. And entrepreneur comparatively high risk nga. Dito natin malalaman kung yung results ng plans nila sa paggawa ng product or, serv or services ay positive or magiging negative, magiging successful or hindi. So dito, um, eto, sa business man, ang focus nila ay profit orientation while entrepreneur is people oriented. So entrepreneur kasi ang um, focus nila ay makuha yung trust ng consumers nila dun sa product or services nila. Next slide please. Hello. Hello po. Hindi okay, po ako. Kaganda. Okay, yeah. Po. Go ahead. Yes, Aaron. Kung may time, naglalag. Naglalag. Okay na po. Hindi po ako. Yes, go, go ahead. Go. So, um, what is enterprise, no? Here are some the, you know, definitions of enterprise. So, enterprise, according to Oxford Dictionary, it's a bold undertaking, no? So, in other words, ang ibig sabihin ng, ano, ng enterprise is the open courage, energy, or boldness na taglay natin in risking or attempting such thing. No? So, whether it's about work, projects, or businesses, ano, it is, wait lang, ano ba ito? As long as may, ano, at least, uh, as long as mag-risk or mag-attempt, no, in, what the? So, ano, wait lang. Wait lang. Wait lang. So, wait lang. Wait lang. so, enterprise or the Oxford Dictionary is bold undertaking. So, in other words, enterprise is the, you know, overall courage, energy, or boldness na taglay natin in risking or attempting such thing, whether it's about work, project, or any business. So, moving on, it is where entrepreneur activities is, go is going on, like company, industry, business, Industry, firm, organization, office, agency, franchise, shops, and etc. So, ang enter enterprise is also a general term for such entrepreneurial activities na nangyayari sa mga companies, industry, organization, and other types of businesses in which entrepreneurs entrepreneur related. So, moving, next, ano? It supports the recognition of new market opportunities as well as develops the opportunity to, to change and develop at the individual business industry or sector level so ang enterprise is also something that helps to keep up or help recognize or identify the new market opportunities so when you say ano new market opportunities ito yung mga oportunidad na makakatulong sa paglago ng ating business so it is a business organization that is formed and which provides provides goods and services creates job contributes to national income imports and above all sustainable economic development. So, in other words, ano, ang enterprise is another word for business, for business, or a company. Whether it's a food company, service company, and other types of company, as long as it provides something na agawa sila ng mga, mga trabaho, may contribution sila sa national income ng bansa, nag import and nag export sila, then it's ano, considered as enterprise. Okay. okay, go ahead. Next. Okay, so let's define entrepreneur and entrepreneurship and enterprise. An enterprise is a business 
venture, entrepreneur is nothing else than the person who starts an enterprise. The process of creation, including originality, capabilities, skills, and difficulties is called entrepreneurship. The entrepreneur is the actor and the entrepreneurship is the act. And the economic world is the scene in a period of crisis or during an economic boom. All these periods delimiting, delimiting a continuous cyclical evolution as place. And finally, to close the circle, the outcome of the actor and the act is defined as the enterprise. So, kailangan, mahalaga talaga yung mga entrepreneur na may innovation sila para maging successful sila sa market. Next slide, please. Hello po, rinig po yes. ako? Yes, yes, Ms. Luzon, can go ahead. Um, I did discuss the conception of entrepreneurship. Um, entrepreneurship applies mostly to person with good educational. Uh, ito, ito sa ano, ito yung isa sa um, conception na at sa mga in, about sa entrepreneurship. Sabi dito is, nobody is born an entrepreneur. To become successful entrepreneur, you must know the basic concepts and principles of entrepreneurship and apply them properly to your chosen business. The environment in which your business operates also contributes to its success. The practice of entrepreneurship does not even require any entrance examination in business courses. Successful entrepreneurs come from all walks of life and have different education, educational backgrounds from different colleges and universities in the country. It is your inner driving force that carries you toward become a dynamic entrepreneur. Sabi dito, ano, yung misconception na sa entrepreneurship is, akala nung mo, most sa mga tao is, kailangan kapag mag- gagawin ng ano sorry lang ka or nakapagtapos ka sa mga universities pero pag mag-create ka po ng business need lang po ng parang paghahanda or alam mo yung mga basic steps bago ka mag-start po ng business yun lang next slide um the, yeah. the importance of entrepreneurship in our daily lives um It helps, it helps people to make their ha- lives happy, fruitful, and successful. It provides employment in the community, human workforce nga ika nga. And it creates new demand in the market. And it increases constructive, constructive competition. It incre- entrepreneurship education provides budding entrepreneurs with the skills and knowledge to come up with business ideas and develop their own ventures. So, sino nga ba yung mga ba- budding entrepreneurs? Siyempre, mga consider natin yung sarili natin as a first year college student kasi nga, We're studying the subject ngay eh, para sa future magkaroon tayo ng knowledge at ma-apply natin ito in real life. Okay? So next slide. What makes a successful entrepreneur? Ability to identify and explore opportunities. So dito papasok yung tinatawag nating SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. And threats. Yeah. So sa ist- kunyari, um example, business Then entrepreneur ka and then kailangan mo ma-identify yung strengths mo, kung saan ka malakas. Weaknesses, kung saan nga ba may mga tagilid doon sa product or services mo. And opportunities, opportunity dapat naghahanap ka ng mga opportunity para maging successful ka sa market. Yung product or services mo ay maging trend. And yung threats, dito papasok yung mga competitors natin. Hindi lang naman competitors, pati na rin yung sa... Ma- ano, raw materials natin, for example, product, syempre may mga climate change at kailangan natin ng alternative. Ayun, so next slide. Yo. So, dear class, may I can some please volunteer to research here and let us what have you learned during our discussion? <laughs> Who wants to recite? If no one wants, I will call someone. Only six people. Okay, so you better call their attention. Mr. Ugayo, just in case. Go ahead. Um, no one, no one wants to call here. So I mean, I'm going to call random, randomly. So on set A, I'm going to call. May I call on Monty Berhen. Jenny Suarez, Monty Burhan. May I ask what have you learned? What have you learned during our discussion? Go ahead, Ms. Monty Burhan. Do you have any comment? Ms. Monty Burhan, are you there? 
kahit ano lang, simple word lang, just one sentence. Yeah. Wala ba si Miss Montebir- Montebirhen? Oh, si Miss Montebirhen, so I'm going to call another person. Uh, sa tayo okay. ulit, may actual uh, Ponce. Is Ponce there? Jan Carlos, wala niya sa Ponce. Mr. Ponce. Okay. Where are you, yes, Mr. Sir? Ponce? Okay, go ahead. Um, may I ask what have you have you learned during our discussion? Yes. 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 Um, sorry sir, uh, but I don't think Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Mr. Algayon, I think uh, Sean has, I mean, uh, Mr. Ponce has nothing to say. Yes. So, I'm going to call another person too, sir. Go ahead. So, I'm going to call, ano na lang. May I call Salem Andre? May I ask what is your and what have you learned during our discussion, Mr. Andre? Yes. Am I ano, loud and clear? Yes, go ahead. Ah, sige, sige. Uh, based po dun sa mga naging report niya, siyempre, about po sa ano, relevance po ng entrepreneurship as a student. Uh, isa sa mga naging ano, naalala ko, ito yung pinaka naalala ko, yung naging part ni yung sa enterprise kanina. Na-define siya as ano, as sa Oxford Dictionary na it is a project or undertaking po so mostly ang uh, syempre na- nagiging relevant po siya sa business or company so hindi yun po yung may, na medyo nakakalawa okay then siya na <laughs> that's okay thank you for answering may I call for another person um is Galaniton there? Rebecca Galaniton? Just a simple answer lang. You can answer it like Entrepreneur. What is entrepreneur ba? Entrepreneur is madali. They are genius. Just like that. Ma- laki yung isipan nila. Malawak po baga. Oh, ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, okay, ayan. Can I? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, Miss Best. Ma- uh, Miss uh, Bestasa. Go ahead. Um, Entrepreneurship, it's all about the plan. Um, sabi nga ni, uh, sabi ni Sean kanina, ang entrepreneurship is unique. Unique, uh, iba't ibang klase ng product. Siyempre, pag entrepreneurship ka, kailangan mong maging risk taker. Then, you have to a uh, venture. Yun. Good. Okay, very good. Ms. Bastasa? Ako po. Pwede po. Yes, go ahead. Sabi po ako dun sa sinabi ko ng yung... Uh, Mary Jane Bastasa. Uh, sa akin naman po is yung uh, syempre pag sinabi po natin entrepreneurs uh, makikreate ka ng mga business eh. Yan yan. Then syempre iniisip natin kung may mga uh, may mga ba- base din sila like mga nararanasan din. Like for example yung sinabi po ni Sean po kanina na SWOT analysis. So yung meron din silang strengths, yung weaknesses po nila opportunities and threats. So yun, na-realize ko na uh, when it comes to business pala may mga ganun din pala silang mga scenarios. Ayun po. Thank you, Miss Miss Matangkas. And for our last, may I call on? May I call on? Delos Re. I know, no, Delos Re is not here. May I call on Lopez? Oh. From James Lopez. For our last answer. Hello. Am I loud and clear, po ba? Yes, po, loud and clear. Um, based on my understanding, po ah. Uh, yung difference po ng businessman at saka ng entrepreneur is that businessman sells that is already existing in the market like ball pen and so on and so forth while entrepreneurs invent other than that po. parang it come he comes up with something that is not yet existing pero relevant at the same time yun lang po thank you for the answer and that's all amen um, 
thank you for everyone who answered our presentation. Thank you for participating. Okay. Next slide, okay. thank you. Okay, Sean, uh, Mr. Ogayon, uh, uh, Mr. Kaganda, and uh, Ms. Luzon. Ano? Okay, uh, I'm glad you know that you can able to hack it. Okay, thank you, Sean, Mr. Ogayon, uh, Mr. Kaganda, and Ms. Uh, Luzon. Uh, I'm, I'm, how to call this? I'm sorry, you know, Mena, Mr. Mena, Charles is not around. Uh, I really don't know what happened to him. But just the same, your report is okay. I want you the hard copy, okay? Yes, sir.